your girl Abigail and I'm welcoming you to another exciting episode of the Vox Pop and today we'll be talking about spiritual practices. I'll be asking people between worship, praise and prayer which of these spiritual practices do they engage more. My name is Abigail once more and this is Universal Worship Network. Let's go and find out. So as a Christian, which of these spiritual practices do you do more? Praise, worship or prayers? I do prayers more. I do more of prayers actually. Um, I prefer praise. Mm, I say worship. I go for worship. For me, all of them are important. But for me, it is prayer. In connecting with God, I emphasize the aspect of praise, followed by intense worship, then prayers. I say that because I'm a kind of person that likes singing, dancing, so when it comes to praise, I let it all out, dancing, the shouting, the everything, so that's why I choose praise. It keeps you into the mood, and then you get worked up, you can go to praises, and then you can go to worship. It keeps it in a more solemn environment. Anytime praise is going on, like, there is always a, a rejuvenation, like that kind of feeling that you don't get from anywhere else. Because I really don't like worshipping, worshipping, worship. Though I worship though, but then I just go straight to prayer sometimes. I don't worship. But most times I just worship. Like when I'm washing clothes, I just worship. Or when I'm cooking, I just sing like a worship song, you understand, or a praising song. But then when I want to pray, I don't worship before praying. I just go straight to prayers, you understand. So that's what I do more, prayers. Yeah, because, you know, praise energizes. It's also very physical in nature, right? By the time you, sometimes if you want to pray and you feel weak and tired, by the time you, you start worshiping God, praising, the energy will come, your spirit gets lifted. Then the prayer becomes easy for you to render. That's why I, I, I'm a priest man. You get it? I believe so much in praise, right? Worship, sometimes, you know, I do worship because on your bed you worship. It's possible. But as I praise, I move around. Move around wherever my my prayer room, my sitting room. Always very easy for me. And I saw that people tend to connect easily when you are using praise as, as a link between you and God. Not that I don't praise, not that I don't worship, but I think prayer is the main thing. But there is a way in which you may not be able to praise or worship somebody you have not spoken to. That is my own take. So I think that as Christians, we should dwell more time in prayers than in worship and praise. I'm not saying that uh, praise or worship is, 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 uh, is less inferior, but I think that is the way we should, we should uh, move as Christians. There are instances, there are some places, of course, there are these issues that uh, there are some areas in which the best thing that you can take to solve problem is through worship or through prayers. But most of the time, I think prayers stand out. That is just my own take, at least from my understanding of the scriptures. Okay, as someone that loves to praise God often, so can you sing a song of praise right now on the spot? It's praising that Lord, always praising that Lord with all my heart. Praising that Lord with all my heart, always. Hallelujah! Oh my God is good, my God is good. My God is good, he's good to me. Praising the Lord of my soul, this is the day he has made. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praising the Lord. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Let and we've come to the end of another exciting episode of the Vox Pop. I remain your favorite girl, Abigail. And don't forget to praise, worship, and then say a word of prayer to your God every single day. Next time, bye-bye.